So today, here's a dumb little thing. It isn't though, it's really cool. My dog drinking water. Um, it's really cool because someone took their little old, like, brunch, oh, no, it was blood worm, like Hikari blood worms, frozen blood worms. Let's try that again. Someone <laughs> took their Hikari frozen blood worm package and peeled off their foil better than I did, but then they froze live brine shrimp for their fish. And it was really cool, so I gave it a shot and I messed it up because, as you'll see, <laughs> the brine shrimp is a really thin layer in there with the eyes. But it's really fun to watch. Um, it's fun to watch these fish. So I'm trying again, denser formula. I in no way endorse whatever product that is, but barbecue grill things are great. Squeeze bottles for a barbecue sauce are fantastic for brine shrimp. Okay, so let's see if we can pop one of these stupid little things out. Hold on. Yeah, we can. And just if you drop them in frozen, it's great. Let's see. It didn't hurt them in any way, it didn't bother them, they're just nice. Since mama was bad how she made them, make y'all nice and fat. There's Confetti. He's very old. He's very old. He's my old man who I love. Look, check this brine shrimp melting. Oh man, it would rightly be Wait. Look at that. So cool to me. I'm easily amused. I have a cold, and true story, <laughs> my dog ate my dentures. I ground my teeth all my life, so I just, they cracked eventually, and I don't know, somewhere in my late 30s, I was just having them pulled at a regular rate because they were cracking. Um, so I finally just had them all pulled, and which was, sucked, and it still sucks. And um, a few years back, I got in a car wreck, and I had post-traumatic uh, epilepsy, something along those lines. And for two years, I had seizures every month um, for seven days in a row, seven to 10. And I had grand mal seizures all day long. Um, and it was really sad. I broke my nose three times. I broke ribs. I broke a lot of stuff. Uh, look how beautiful that is. Ivy, shut up. Look how beautiful that is. world's full of beautiful things. Wake up, people. Love your people. Wow, that's kind of heavy. Okay, so, uh, yeah. So, anyway, one time I had a seizure in the kitchen, and I mean, it knocked me out, and no one was around. I live with my mother. My mother and I share a home now. That's a whole nother story. But um, we both were widows and just, I sold my house, which I own next door. After my father died, oh my God. Okay, after my father died, I moved to Oklahoma with my husband from Florida, bummer. Um, I mean, you know, whatever. Um, because I wanted to be near my mother. So, um, one time when I was flying back and forth in the interim, um, the house next door came for sale and I shot my husband pictures and he said go and I bought it and so I had the house next door to my mom for quite a while um then my husband died and I couldn't set foot in the house anymore and I wanted to but I just couldn't do it and in the end I mean I think it sat there eight years for about six of those years I had the back door open I had two large dogs over there watching it and I went over three times a day and 
played with them and fed them and watered them and they guard the house. Never had a problem. Look at my fish. Now look at him. Oh my gosh. What a brilliant boy. He's lived a long time. And <laughs> I disturbed him. What a punk. I'm sorry, bud. Yeah, anyway. So finally, I sold that hunk of garbage, which it was by the time it got sold. And they burned the house to the ground. That's what, I have a video of that too. Um, which was sad, but it was fitting, you know? I was excited because I thought, oh, you know, this is a, it's a really nice family. They're so, so sweet. And I thought, this is good. Someone's going to go in there who can afford to and who can fix it up and make a lovely home. And, you know, it'll be beautiful, right? And then they were like, man, we're going to burn it to the ground. And I had to like, <gasps> okay. And then I choked on that for a while. And then I thought, no, it's fitting, you know. No one else should live in that home where Phil and I live. That was our home, you know. So, I, you know, happy ending. Another lesson in life is, <laughs> good God. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Let's just skip it. I'm sure you can find plenty of your own. <laughs> wow. I swear, if I have any cojones, I'm gonna post this video. But y'all will give up before then, so that's cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look, so now my mother and I share a home. Um, a water pipe busted and took out the lower walls on half the house and flooded everything. We are, it looks like hoarder hell in here. It does. It's awful. And now, dun da da because of the big giant tank, thank you so much, bucket list, um, which I could only, 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 only get because I sold that hunk of house. So now another happy ending, beautiful tank in my room. And there's a reason for that too, but that's for another video. Um, yeah, so we've got fish everywhere now. I had to move them all out of the room I was in. Um, so I've got a tub with <laughs> electric blue Acara in my, in our dining room. I've got a 30 in the, I don't even know what you call that, walkway in front of the inside of the house. I don't know. Um, and I've got six tubs of angelfish, a pair of Hekelii, threadfin, regular ones and I've got uh, a female young female Belzonii in there. Oh, my dogs are howling. My mother's dogs are howling because she's not here. <laughs> oh, listen to that. That's the saddest thing you ever heard. That poor dog. Not that I let her be alone. She's just having a fit right now because another dog's out and she misses my mom and blah, blah. We take care of the dogs. We're another mothers to each other's dogs. It's pretty swell. We've got a house full. We used to have almost twice as many. And there's a reason for that, of course. But yeah, we rescued a bunch of dogs. And um, I now have three. She has four. One of mine is very old. Uh, let's see. Her littlest one is very old, but they tend to live a long time. So I don't know. It's a wiener dog. A miniature wiener dog. Um, we've got <laughs> a one-eyed beagle, and of course, she, but actually, she's a bagel. She's a half beagle and a half whatever, and she's, um, she wandered up in the yard and plopped her head on my mom's foot, so you know she had a home, right? So she got introduced. Actually, she had two eyes until she came here. Uh, yeah, one of my mother's, my mother's pretty much German Shepherd, uh, didn't like it. And bit her in the face, like, immediately. It was a bad deal. Uh, my mom blames herself. There's never been another problem, but, uh, yeah, that was a quick three grand on a dog that ran right up in the yard. And we paid it gladly and brought that little baby home, and she is a delight. Her name is Penny. Um... And my mom's got a big black, I don't know what, that's what 
was out there howling. Uh, so, yeah. We've, we've got a lot on our plate. We sure do. Oh, and the angelfish. We haven't discussed my angelfish. I've got one angelfish in one tub, another tub, four tubs. I've only got two together in one tub because they haven't tried to kill each other yet. Everybody else has been separated. Overnight, it's going to be a little longer than overnight, but I, you know, I've got to figure something out. My tubs are frozen outside, so the ones I could use, because um, we have snow and it's, I don't know, like 20 degrees outside, which is kind of odd. But anyway, so that's the deal with that. Um, I've got one, two, three angelfish in like, <laughs> one's in a two and a half gallon tub, and two of them are in one gallon containers right now that you wouldn't leave a betta fish in. Um, but they had to go there, you know, they had to go there. Um, I was checking them all closely last night and I had several, you know, that have eyes messed up. I've got one that I've had on the bar in a two gallon container for a couple of days that had uh, one eye damaged when it was young. Um, I think there's a video of that adjust that fish adjusting to the light in the morning when you turn on the lights. Um, it's interesting because fish have two signals for up, and if you put light on the side of them instead of straight, they get internally imbalanced and they lean. I have a video of guppies doing that too. Uh, not good for fish. I just wanted to show it. To teach people um you know sometimes with a spotlight you can kind of hurt your fish or you know make them not happy you know not right um yeah hey my spine is broken right now when i say it's broken i mean broken i'm leaning to the left i lean forward by the end of the day when i'm tired i walk into door frames you know i mean yeah um why was i going to tell you all about seizures earlier now see, this is something weird that has happened since the seizures. I'll be talking and in the middle of a sentence, I'll forget what the hell we're talking about. And it's not the old age thing because, you know, I could qualify for that too. I'm 51, but dang, those seizures, you know, beat the tar out of me. Um, yeah, did I say that my, when I had a, a seizure, my dog took my teeth? That was the punchline, dog took my teeth. I did. Yeah. Mm. Welcome to me. Welcome to my world. <laughs> Run now, run very far away. Look at him. Oh, I love him. This was some I picked out um, of the guppies I had because I obviously love something about them. I'm going to be pulling most of the orange ones out, especially I'll be pulling out that one that has cellophane. But this right here, look at that fish. Oh my gosh. He is just mm -mm, a delight to me. That fish and that one, look at that weird fish. Weird guppy. And some of these females are beautiful to me. Oh, that's beautiful. How dare you argue? It's beautiful. <laughs> but that guy. You better straighten up. You better pick that boyfriend right there. That's the one you want. Yeah. I'll tell you this, though, because he's not just beautiful. He's smart. <laughs> I've watched him. He's smart. Okay, look, I've bored y'all enough with my life. I just wanted to apparently introduce myself. Um, but I wanted to share the brine shrimp thing. If you want to try it yourself, go for it. Just let all the top water settle and try to get rid of that before you use your brine shrimp, before you pour your brine shrimp. And that way you'll have a solid block of brine shrimp and not all that water. Although that does help measure it out if you want to give smaller amounts the way I did it, just to leave the liquid in and the brine shrimp will settle in a tiny amount on the ice cube. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm going to go kill myself now. Um, you know, fish fam, I can't even get started, but I love you guys so much. I mean, and I know a lot of people really can understand. Um, it's a weird world. I'm grateful for y'all. That's all. I'm grateful for y'all, and I love y'all, and I love interacting with y'all, and I mean, you're just the best, so, you know, 
warmest regards to each and every one of y'all. I love you guys. <laughs>